What up people, how's it going? This is Bharat and welcome back to yet another video on the Kodamong channel. We are going to be continuing on the OpenCV Kiwi MD application series and for this one, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can cartoonize a video. So I'm going to be playing around with the live feed from my camera and try to cartoonize my face. And it's pretty simple when it comes to OpenCV. That's all I'm going to be finding out in this one. So let's get this video started straight away. Alright, so for this one, I'm going to be continuing on from where we left off and if you guys are very new to this video, I would highly recommend you guys to check out our first few videos on the OpenCV integration with KiwiMD. It's pretty straightforward once you have your video capture integrated along with your KiwiMD texture. So we're going to be continuing on from here. I'll just run this application to show you guys what we are playing around with here. Um, so let's run this code. So this is pretty much what we're going to be playing around with here. So this is going to be my live feed. It's taking the input from my laptop camera right here and we're going to be continuing on here so instead of just being this is normal kind of a video what I'm going to try to do is cartoonize this entire thing right here so it's going to be a little bit fun and I'll show you guys how easy it is when it comes to OpenCV before we begin a quick note from our sponsor An Academy are you a student or a working professional who's looking for a great career in software development check out anacademy.com slash go slash career as a software developer and you'll be taken to this link all you need to do is just check out all the upcoming live classes that are being taken by top educators in the industry they will walk you through their in own industry experience and interact with a lot of guests like HR and industry leaders of top companies where they will answer all of the questions that are raised by you. In live episodes, you get an opportunity to ask tech HRs about top 20 interview questions and industry leaders directly about their recruitment process in startups and MNC, what's the eligibility and how to apply and how they build such great products. Not only this, you can participate in mock interviews and learn courses on programming languages, cloud computing, blockchain and crypto, tech aspects of digital marketing and data analytics. One of the upcoming shows for this weekend is Anurag Gurk's Accelerating Development. Have you ever thought about all these frontline applications like Zomato, Paytm, GPay, Amazon and how these thought processes are going to be working in first place? In this show, Anuj will discuss the architecture breakdown of popular applications. Learners will get to see how these apps are made and how these apps work. And this is not something you find on YouTube on an everyday basis, right? You do not need to shell out a lot of money to get the subscription. You will need to spend 999 per year or 83 rupees per month. Or if you choose to use my promo code, which is CoderMonk, you will get 10% off the subscription and just spend only 75 bucks per month. All the links that are discussed here are in the description below. Check them out and let me know what you guys think in the comments comment section below as well. The first step you need to do is to obviously convert your uh, frame to grayscale and this is an important step primarily because you want to uh, get the grayscale, get the edges and uh, smoothen out the edges and post that you're going to be taking our colored image, doing a bitwise and and getting the cartoonized image. So this is going to be the steps and I'm going to be continuing on from here. Once you have this code done, uh, this is obviously available in my GitHub repository. Check the description link. I have linked all of that to my GitHub repository where all this code is going to live. Uh, live. So just continuing on and we'll just do the grayscale conversion here. So just say gray is equal to CV2 dot CVT color. If you are very familiar with uh, this one, you've been doing this for 10, 15, 20 times already. So I'm just not going to uh, explain what this step is. So just convert from frame and just say CV2 dot color BGR to gray to gray. All right, so BGR to gray is done. And from here on, it's just going to say grayscale is equal to CV2 dot median blur. And this is where you're trying to blur your grayscale out. And that way you get like smooth edges and smooth face and it'll look a little bit like cartoon. So we'll just see how it works out. So say median blur and gray, uh, medium blur the grayscale about five. Uh, five is enough for us, nothing else is needed. And we'll just say, that's it. So now it's time to get the edges uh, and the function used for edges is the adaptive threshold. Obviously you have seen it multiple times already. So just continue on from here. Adaptive threshold and you will say grayscale, uh, probably get it 255 and you'll say cv2.adaptive threshold mean c. You need to get the threshold mean c here. Threshold. Uh, why is it not coming? Thresh. of thresh mean c so adaptive thresh mean c followed by that you will say cv2 dot thresh binary and finally 
the parameters that you want. We want to get as much parameter, as much edges as possible. So nine comma nine. All right. So this is going to be the basic steps. So what we've done so far is get the grayscale, uh, blur the grayscale out a little bit, and we're going to get the edges from there. And this is to make sure we have a smooth edge. And now is the time to cartoonize the colored image. So cartoonize, cartoonization is very simple. When you take the example of the, when you use the Python module OpenCV, you just need to use something called as the bilateral filter and it will probably help you with uh, giving you that kind of a filtered image which will look similar to a cartoon. So just say colored image is equal to cv2 dot bilateral filter and you will just take this frame that we have so says the frame which is live frame coming in and you just pass the parameters as 9 followed by 250 comma 250 so just a quick look inside the bilateral filter method you will know how it is actually what it's trying to do so it says that the function applies bilateral filtering to the input image as described obviously this is what i said and it's going to take the source the d and the sigma color followed by the sigma space so these are the three four important parameters that you should definitely pass and uh, it's very clearly written here that if you want large filters uh, above nine it's going to be a little bit slow so recommend to use these equal to five for real-time applications but if you don't use um, probably nine here right your application would probably be slowed down if you're running it on a lower cpu or lower gpu so it's up to you if you want to you can just experiment around with this five or nine or six or whatever is going to look good on your application so let's move on and finally once you have the colored image just get the cartoonized image right here so cartoonized image is equal to cv2 dot this is where you do the bitwise and and you take your first grayscale uh, colored image colored image and followed by the edges that you have already here so just take the edges from here colored colored uh, it's a colored image right so colored image colored image so you're taking both the colored images and doing a bitwise and with edge so whatever is going to be available is going to be attached to the edges Atta edges are going to get attached and the smooth edges along with the bitwise filter that you already have the bilateral filter that you already have is going to give the ca cartoonized picture to this so once you have the cartoonized image ready uh, time to pass it along in our buffer so just pass it along in a buffer like this cartoon image and also make sure to change this here as well so this is where the texture is getting get updated for the kiwi md uh, application and obviously all of these things are going to stay right there so this is going to be the base code which is going to what you're going to need uh, don't need this canny obviously you can you can do a canny edge but up to you guys i tried around with the canny edge it wasn't really that good uh, so i just went with that up to threshold too experiment out so all of this open cv uh, applications all of these open cv functions it's about what is best for the application on that given day so just need to experiment things with it and just try what suits better and how the final image is uh, suiting you better so obviously everything is done in just five lines of code and if you guys want to just do cartoonization you all you need is just these five lines of code and we'll just now try to run this application and see how the fi final output is looking like run this right here all right so there we go we have the final application it is looking similar to a uh, and cartoonized image right so i'll just remove my move my mic out so it look a little bit like how you want it to be So there you go that's that's how simple it is and uh, you can pretty much do anything you want from here. you can play around with what the parameters that you have passed here all of these things are going to be mandatory uh, one thing you need to do is make sure to pass it as the mask equal to edges or it or else it will just go as, as part of the star orgs which you don't want so that's pretty much it just five lines of code all you have done is just to pass uh, convert your grayscale get your edges and from there on you're going to obviously do a bilateral filter to get a filtered image and then finally do a bitwise and between your filtered image along with the edges that you have built and together when you put both of them together it looks pretty much like a cartoonized image so that's pretty much it from me for this video hope you guys did like it uh, if you'd like to do not forget to drop a like for this video as well as subscribe to the channel more of these videos are coming along hopefully you guys will stay subscribed i'll see you guys in the next one until then it's bharat peace out have a super awesome day